From the toolbar, select the Ellipse tool. By pressing Shift key, drag it and make it a circle. Now give the outlines to this circle. And from here you can increase or decrease the outline stroke. Now it is fine. Bring it to the center. Now take ellipse tool once again by pressing shift key. Draw another circle like this. And this time fill this circle with color. And bring it at the center. Now drag it and make it a little bit bigger in size. Drag it down and uh, make the circle a little bit smaller. By using Alt key, drag it and make it a duplicate. Reduce the opacity. And let's change the color. And place it on the perfect place. Drag it once again by pressing Alt key and make another duplicate and take it at the bottom. Let's make one more duplicate here. Now it looks fine. Let's regain the opacity. And let's make duplicate. So copy, paste in place. Select this one and this one by pressing shift key. Go to layer. Combine shape and click here. Now regain the opacity for this. Select this one and this one by pressing shift key. Go to layer, combine and overlap. Similarly, select this one. Uh, let us make duplicate first. Now select this one and this one by pressing shift key and again combine it to overlap. And let's change the color. Now by using pen tool here make a shape. So by making this shape uh, we'll take out the outer side which we don't want, we'll, uh, we want to delete that portion. And fill this with color. Now rasterize it. Do quick selection. After quick selection, Select the down object which uh, one we want to delete and press delete key. Now control D and remove the selection and delete this object. By pressing alt key, drag it and make one more duplicate here. Make it smaller in size, rotate it and place it perfectly. You can zoom in by pressing Ctrl plus on your keyboard. Rotate it a little bit more. Now it is perfect. Now by taking pen tool, let's draw a curve here. And let's fill this curve with a stroke. Now by using ellipse tool here, let's draw a circle and fill this small circle with color. Now select both and do right click on your mouse and rasterize it. 
now let's change the color so double click on this layer click on overlay option this gradient overlay and here we'll apply gradient color to it and let's change the gradient color this is the default color so we'll use our own own color here and from here you can find uh, your favorite color the color you want to use and on the other side of the gradient we'll change the color again and we'll take light yellow now it is perfect and let's make it a little bit more darker click OK OK now select this double click on the layer and apply this gradient color so this gradient color we have done set up and here you can fix the angle of the gradient color you can use the direct value also and you can drag it and repeatedly use the same gradient color to all the objects now select them and merge all the layers by doing right click so after merging it becomes one shape now let's do copy paste and after that uh, we'll reflect it horizontal and by using arrow key take it towards the right hand side now it is perfect and here let's write the logo title company name now let's change the font so under the character option you'll find the font uh, if you don't have those fonts then you can check out video on the channel already uploaded from where to download and how to install it on your computer and now drag it Uh, let's make it a single shape merge the layer and take it up select this one and bring it here now let's rasterize the text by doing right click rasterize it and after that double click here and use the ready made gradient color and we are done uh, let's draw a background here by using this rectangle and fill this rectangle with color send this one to the back and it is fine hope you like this tutorial thank you